All right, man collects, spouse who tolerates. We're walking into the Appalachian Fairground here in Gray, Tennessee for the Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, let's take a look around here. We got some loose legends. A lot of people here today, guys. We don't do a whole lot of talking, but we will look and see what kind of stuff we find. We're seeing Star Wars. Up on G.I. Joe. 20 bucks for those. Not a bad price once you find them on clearance. All kinds of G.I. Joe stuff. There's Mario. Bruce Lee. Three and three quarter Marvel Legends. Oh, a whole wall of turtle figures. Look at this. See Iron Man, Greg Maddox, Mike Piazza. Making our way. Let's see, got some more wrestlers here. Hulk Hogan is on my desk at work. Ten bucks for that movie. Mega figure with sound, but that's expensive. I won't get that on camera here in a second. Q figs. Got some Spider Man old toy biz here. I've actually still got that, just not in the pack. That mojo for $10 is really interesting me. Oh, these old two packs. I got a bunch of these. I like the. I like this one. But I'm not for sure. If I might have it. And Kelly spotted Jason Voorhees hanging out up there. I have to go look at that in a second. Oh, Wolverine. I like that. Turtles. I got the giant size X-Men set there, 40 bucks. That's not a terrible price for that. There's some more turtles, best action. Mondo Geckos, Ultimate Aprils. Oh, that Wolverine's really nice. Oh, I see the first one that was on my wish list for today. How much we got on this? 50 bucks. The blue and gray Walmart variant. We got Batman White Knight. That's that one that looks kind of... Oh, another one. We got Joker, Superman, Red Sun. Sovereign Knight Batmans and Batmobiles. So we've seen one now. Hopefully by the time I get around here and come back, if he has the best price, it'll still be here. Got 89 Batmobile. And some more older multiverse figures here. I actually don't have any of those in the hush. All right, we're coming into some pops, so when I get to the next section of cool stuff, I will film. All right, let's look at some legends. Look at the Archangel. The cool head sculpt there. Spider-Man. 20 bucks for that Infinity Saga cap. Oh, they got a Hydra Stomper for 45. What have we got here? Wakanda Forever, Moon Nut. Oh, I just found it. Well, actually, I didn't find it. We'll come back to this, guys. The spouse has come through for me again. Look at all these multiverse. Look at all these multiverse. Got swamp things. 40 bucks for an ass bed. 40 for Parallax. That's not bad. Oh, 
I already see one I'm probably gonna buy. Three jokers, what do we got here? We got Dead Man, Demon, Reverse Flash, Dr. Fate, Red Hood, Catwoman, a mega thick bane for 90 bucks. We got two of these at the house. I didn't pay 90 bucks for those, don't worry about that. Oh, they got the Batman Azure 2 pack I'm looking for. I see another Azbat over in there, another Azbat. The red and blue Target Switch of Superman. Of course, luckily I already have that one. The biggest thing we're looking for today, guys, is three Jokers Comedian. There's a Joker, what do we got there? That's Death in the Family. Is this him? Nope, that's the criminal. It's Batman. I'm looking for a three jokers Joker, the comedian. That's the one that other toy stores got in stock. If they don't, we can't find it here, we're probably going there next. Three jokers, see Red Hood. Ocean Master. All right, we're going to go through some of these multiverse guys, and I'll we'll be back. All right, guys, looking around here. Found a seller I bought off of last time here, and he does not disappoint again. He had all the multiverse you saw. And look, a turtle blimp. Re-release, 50 bucks. 150 on Token Razor. Some two-pack turtles. Amber Collections, Fakers, Trap Jaws. And the back end here of the multiverse stacks that Spouse and I went through. But yep, let's get out of this little corner I'm trapped in and go on to the next. All right, we got another little rack here. I have made my first purchases, so we'll definitely have a haul portion. How about these? I've never seen these before. I just watched this movie again on Netflix, or HBO Max, I mean, the other night. Ooh, that Doomsday. It doesn't have Doomsday, do they? The Superman doesn't look that great, but... No, it's Superman, Lex, and the robot. All right, try to make our way around here. What have we got over here? Got some Spawn, some Witchers. And got some multiverse vehicles there. We see all kinds of multiverse. Are you wanting to be on camera today? So different. <laughs> she gave me a look like, no, not really. <laughs> We're going to try to get down this row here, guys. As soon as we can get down to the multiverse, I'll film some more. But I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me wait. All right, guys. Let's just take a look what we got down through here. Cobra Officer. Oh, Keaton. That's good with Batman. Batman Beyond, Lobo. Got some G.I. Joes. Revelation figures. There's all kinds of Star Wars here behind us, but there's so much in here, guys, I'm not gonna be able to go through all that. I apologize to the Star Wars fans. Now we got some legends here. This Amazing Spider-Man 15. Oh yeah. Amazing Fifth from a Fantasy, I apologize. Put that one back in there. All right, we got Death Metal, Azrael, Suit of Sorrows. Which one was that? Okay, that's the gold label. We've, we've got that one. We got Bizarro, Anik, Armored Batman, Future Stay, Green Lantern from the Justice League. Kind of curious what that one looks like. Okay, that's the animated one. Cyborg, McFarlane. White Knight Joker, the Criminal, Batman Beyond, Cyborg, Dark Knight Returns, Endless Winners, we got more Legends, and we got Flash, Man Justice, DC Rebirth, I'm paying attention to the top row up there, and some Ninja Turtles, Batgirl, Shriek, Catwoman, all right, then we're getting down all kinds of legends here. But we're not seeing any multiverse. It's 
one of the older school. 25 bucks for that. That's the better prices I've seen it elsewhere. Alrighty. We're going to make our way out of this little cubby hole. And I'll see you guys at the next. Oh, wait a minute. I do see something. Oh, never mind. I thought that was the swamp thing that had the, the different head sculpt. It's not. Okay. Alright, now. I'll see you guys at the next. Look at the lesions of minifigures. Got some Marvel guys here. Got some Ghost Riders. All kinds of Iron Man. Let's see if we can see the Punisher. If they have that one here with his guns. They're probably cheaper to buy the figure for four, for, you know, four dollars each. Oh, here's one Punisher, a custom. <laughs> that guy's awesome. They got like a cloak on him. That's one thing, I don't really know what's, I know some of them are customs, though they haven't made, I don't know how to spot their customs from the real ones, get their good quality. Look at all the Batman there. And that Punisher to get a better close-up on him. Did a good job on that. Got some big figs back in there. See some Thanos. All right, just wanted to show the mini thing collection. We've got Black Super Superman, Thomas Wayne, Batman, Vice Redson, never mind. It's not Batman. All right, guys, I may have already shot these Transformers. Hey, Coronation Starscream, but the spouse and I have already made several purchases, so now I'm mostly just in a looking mode to kind of see what they got. This is the guy I usually buy a lot of the stuff off of. Let's just see what he's got. He's got that Hydra Stomper. I'm going to try to get that Hydra Stomper. Uh, we got some more Legends. Cobra Kai. Abomination Build-A-Figure. This is another one I may try to get off the guy. That Apocalypse I have not seen in stores yet, and I want that Apocalypse. <coughs> Better not say it too loud. The guy might hear me and not make me a deal. Some G.I. Joes. Got some Ghostbusters. Look at that cap. Robocop, Ed 209, Battle Damaged. Star Wars, Human Torch. Now look at the alien set there. I get the glare off of it. That's pretty cool. That's the one with the cloak. And Books of Millions got him. I don't know how much he is. Busy. Good wife. He's big in real life. Andre was. Man, that's a big old figure. <laughs> and then we've got some gunslingers and ravens. More G.I. Joe class Super 7s there. Sorry to say classifieds. Those aren't classifieds. These are classifieds. Cool looking roadblock. He's got the alley viper. That storm shadow is awesome looking. Flint, pimped out Deathstro. Ragnarok there. Binary. Gremlins, Pacific Rims. Ah, the 1 in 5,000 CM Punk I've been looking for. Got two one in five five thousand figures. Another one of Nala Rose. That's a He Man Revelation stuff there in the box. Now the eighty nine Joker's cool. The Batman. And let's get over here on the inside of these legends. Got another Apocalypse here. That was kind of beat up on a corner. I actually wonder where these people find this stuff at. Oh, he's got the two pack oh, boxes sorry, too. Fifteen, fifteen, or fifteen. He doesn't have one of them. He doesn't have Spider Man. Oh. Crap, I'm gonna go broke at this place. Huh? I'm gonna go broke at this place. 
blue ninjas. Oh, he's got bazooka. I only saw bazooka that once. Star Wars. Droids, Loki. And then some more Star Wars Black Series over here. Uh, Alright guys, I want to show some more what he had. I didn't really get to slow down too much through here a while ago because I was in heavy duty shopping mode. So I think what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I see some more items he has that I want. I'm going to pick them up. And then I may let Kelly haggle for me. She's better than I am. Let's see what kind of haggling we can do. Walmart, Elizabethton, Tennessee. Never been in this one. Let's go see if they got anything good. Walmart, Elizabethton. Now I checked the app the other day and you see multiverse in front of me. I haven't checked it in I don't know how many days now, but they said they had a vampire Batman. Come on. Come on. Villains beware. Villains beware? I've never heard you say that before. You are. Now here's this thing. I haven't seen it in a while. Clearance price, 41 bucks. Don't really know what it was, and it was new. Cyclone, Duke Thomas's, Dr. Face. I got the Black Adam wave here. Bunch of Duke Thomas. Hawkman. That Wonder Woman designed by Todd McFarlane. Batman Bruce Wayne. Black suit, Hawkman. Oh, Dark Knight Returns. We got one hiding there, a penguin. Movie penguin. Hard Rocker Superman. Hmm. Don't know if that head would work on what I thought I was going to do with it. Dragon. Adam Smasher down there. If they got Flash anywhere. Wonder Woman, Nightwing, Batman who laughs. There's a Flash. Somebody was selling those things at Toy Show today for 20 bucks a piece. They're still in all the stores, probably on clearance for too long. I can't say he was selling them when I bought them. But... Now, what we got here on the other side? Our video game stuff. Some G.I. Joes. It's like the regular movie figures. Lady J's and Baronesses. Power Rangers. Number two. Beyblades. And then. Back on this side. We have Marvel Legend down here. What is it? Howard the Duck. Adam Smashers, Dungeons and Dragons, Black Panther, the Monster Hunter stuff. They got this thing $19 as well. Still, it's five bucks off. I'll wait until I put that on actual clearance. There's some X Men, two sirens. Didn't have any links or same as they were, did they? Oh, here's the pegs they're usually on. I don't see them. Got some Masterverse or Master of the Universe Motu hanging out up there. Among Us, more video games. And then we're kind of bare of the rest of this, though. Oh, we got our dinos. Like the typical stuff. More Snake Eyes movie figures. That's a U look up there on the top shelf. One of those cool hulks that likes to talk. And then we got big Michelangelo up there. Here's Leo. We got Leo's and Mikey's on oh, here. Some storage shells. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. They got all four of them. And the turtles is all they've got. No sh Retro Shredder, Bebops, or Rocksteady's. Got two of the cartoon shredders there. The turtles in disguise. Leo and Mikey. But that's going to do it for the main action. Oh, there's a pizza pop from Turtle. I saw him. But that's it for the main action figure aisle. Let's go check out some Hot Wheels and collector section. And I'll see you in the next. Lego. 
Got our usual Star Wars. Oh, Kelly and I were just looking at that GT. That's nice. We need to get that. They got the bat cycle there. I still got to finish putting that thing together. Oh, what we got here? City sets. I got the motorcycle technic. There's the firefighter aircraft. I could build that one too. That's going to be a neat one. And they got our space set still. Still full price. That four wheel drive truck there. I like that one as well. There's the rover for the city sets. The tiger. The noodle shop. Probably, yeah. That one's cool looking. Three in one. I don't think I have that. I can't remember when that came out. I don't know if that's one of the new March sets or one that's been out for a while. Uh, there's the cozy house. They do have it. I may have already said that. But the lady's looking at the car there. Possibly for the little man. There's the bird house that could have been the property of someone's, but they didn't get it because they told me they didn't like it. I'm probably going to say that a lot in my videos. In case you didn't hear there, she's like, how many times are you going to say that in all your videos? <laughs> if you're with me, the probability of me saying that goes up exponentially. I see some more Lego over here. Actually, some more action figures, too. They've got these split aisle things. I'll have to check that one out and see what they got. Let's see what they got on this auxiliary Lego. Got some Minecraft, Daunts, Mario, Avatar. That panda set for Minecraft is kind of cool. Okay. Getting into our Ninjagos and Marvels. Now the Morbius Spider-Man car. I got to build that too. Ghost Rider. There's your botanical sets. See, like she just said, those are on her desk at work. I'm not the only one that keeps toys on my desk. <laughs> Let's see if we can get down. What we got back here on the back of this? Got some Black Panther. Um, oh, we got a little... But this is some clearance stuff. Let's see. Still 30 bucks here for Panther. 25 for Skelly Gods. He's not down to 17 like he is in most places. And a $7 Ang. $11 for the glider. I found one. I think it was in Books a Million. One of the videos I was posted of that. They had Aang versus Zuko. Zuko looked weird. I'll have to show you that video since it was something you and Madison might like to have. But let's go check out this little action figure aisle. All right. Let's see if I can get up it. They got a little bit of stuff up here. Let's see what they got. Sorry for showing so much of the floor here, but there's a lot of people in here. And like I said, I don't like to film people. If I can get around it, they may not care, but... I got some more of my Batman up there. I can't believe you said a new saying today. Villains beware. Alrighty, looks like mostly Star Wars stuff. I did see all the Motu over here, so I wanted to come check it out. But I think that is going to do it for the main toy aisle. Oh, no, it's not, because I just turned around and I saw more wrestling. <laughs> There's a multiverse up here, too. What do they got? A red robin and a ghost maker up there. Let's look up the tops. So we see anything else. Sorry, guys. I've never been to this Walmart before, so I don't really know where everything's at. I know what to look at. <laughs> Ultimate Warriors. Honky Tonk Man. Yeah, what do we got here? Rip Baker. Still looking for that one 5,000 CM Punk. I saw that at the toy show I went to in gray. Dude wanted 75 bucks for it. Oh no. Kenny Omega. That's not Kenny Omega, it's Hangman Page jumping off at me there. Came off the top rope on me. All right, now that is going to do it for the toy aisle. We'll go find where my spouse went to. And then we're going to head back to collectibles to see what they got in NECA and everything else. 
All right, collector section. Let's see what we got here. At WrestleMania, John Cena and The Rock. I got some lady beside me here trying to open stuff. <laughs> we got Hush back here. Who else we got? Red Robin. Yes, look what we found. We found my Predator Q Fig Elite. $28.10 and they still had the ones down here for $49 so we were looking Kelly opened it up to make sure it wasn't broken it's in good shape the only thing I can really see wrong with it the box is kind of beat up but I don't really care about the box I'm going to take that thing out of the box if I purchase it you know you got to stick around to the hall portion to find out there's the Aragorn that looks just like Viggo Morton it's uncanny Starlight from the boys Mr. Patrick back to the future and you got a Batman cow down there and a bunch of those Q-Figs. But we found that thing on clearance. That's awesome. It's good. I can't open. And we've got some other stuff here. Got our Batman four-pack. Bunch of mugs. And over here we've got peanuts. Got Frank and Snoopy. That's kind of cool. It's on clearance here. Mitch Burnham. Okay. Don't really know who Mitch Burnham is. That says Comic Leonardo and it's Avatar. So let's see. Sorry guys, I'll hope behind me there. I had to wait to clear it out. There's a bunch more of those Predators. And I got some Pops over here. And some Pops here. I'm not going through all the Pops. But that is going to do it for collectibles score for today. Just a spoiler portion there, I guess. I am getting that Predator Q fig. She's getting our stuff. <laughs> but I will see you guys at the next. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the man's house here. We are at the man's dining room table. And as you can see, some of the stuff through here, and there's some more you can't see off camera. Um, I have got a massive haul portion to show you guys today. In the first part of the video, you saw me at the Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show. It was held in Gray, Tennessee. The event was actually held today, the day I'm filming it, March the 11th. I tried to film in there. You saw the footage at the beginning of this uh, video that I did put on for the Appalachian Fair Toy Show there. I apologize, guys. I couldn't film a lot. There were a lot of people. They had a great turnout for that today, which is awesome because I'm not for sure what charity it benefits. You have to excuse me for that, but... I know the admission price for that does go, all goes to charity. It is donated. But, um, they had some great vendors in there. Um, some guys I saw at their show in Greenville last year was there, and I actually picked up the most <laughs> from him. But we went to there to see that. And I've got some online pickups here, some things I've gotten from Amazon and Walmart throughout the week. And then the last thing you saw Kelly and I do today in the video, you saw us go to Walmart in Elizabeth in Tennessee. And I also picked up something from there, which you should already know what that is, but I'm still going to show it at the end of the video. But the first thing we're going to start with is online shopping pickups from this week. Um, from Walmart.com, I did order DC Multiverse Ghostmaker. Now, those of you that watch my content have seen me look at this thing several times in the store. Walmart had it on, online. I think it was like $15.45 for this. It had a good price on it. It's got one little ding there in the top corner, but honestly, that's not anything. Deal breaker for me. There you see the DC Future State and then the picture there on the back. So we did pick up Ghostmaker from Walmart.com. Um, I ordered this and this next figure. They sent these things in a bubble miller. That's why you got a little bit of damage. He was in the box, the, the bubble miller, kind of like this with the other figure on this end of him. Sorry, I need to flash my camera there. But the lower half of the part of the package got squished by and shipping. Why they put these things in bubble millers, I don't understand. But I also ordered the Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman Unmask. Um, I've got the one, the Target exclusive with the mask. The masked version, I've got him, so I wanted to pick this up uh, just to have to complete the little set. But as you can see, he's beat up on the corner. He's beat up and crinkled down here on the bottom because Walmart shipped this thing in a bubble miller instead of, uh, instead of a box. So kudos to Amazon, at least. The last few things I've gotten from Amazon, you'll see one figure here I got from them next. But uh, their shipping has been better. But there you got Batman unmasked. I remember seeing this peg warm before I really got into DC and Walmarts and... Um, Seeing that thing online now, the prices went up kind of high. I think I paid like $19 for this off Walmart.com. The only reason I didn't send it back, 
the, uh, the Target exclusive mass version I do have opened. I'm going to open this guy up. And as I go through the pickups today, you'll see that it doesn't really matter what this box looks like. You know, spoiler alert, but that is my Walmart orders from this week. From Amazon, I picked up Talon. And I've got to give Amazon credit. As far as the McFarland figures that I have ordered from Amazon last little while, this thing is in great condition. Even the plastic, I know you really can't probably tell, but it doesn't have a whole lot of scratches and scuffs, if you can tell there from the glare that these things usually have, you know, from, from normal normal shelf shelf life there. But see there, Talon, the Court of Owls. There's his artwork on the back. This and Ghostmaker, I've had my eye on these two figures for quite a while, so I was glad to get these. This was less than retail on Amazon, 18 bucks maybe, not much less than what it sells for in stores, but it was cheaper, so I picked it up. Let's we'll slide that out of the way. Now let's get into things that I bought today at the Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show in Gray, Tennessee. I keep plugging them. I'm going to try to have their information on the screen and also in the description. I know the show is past now, but they will do one in Greenville later this year. I'm thinking last year the one they done in Greenville was around July or August. So as soon as they announce that, you follow them on Facebook, you know, you'll be able to see on there and they do the next show. They have a lot of great stuff. And honestly, all the vendors there, they're, they're easy to work with on the prices. And the pricing I saw today on some of this stuff was surprisingly low based on what you find it on eBay and other, other markets. But we got a lot of stuff to get through. I'm going to quit talking about that. Uh, one vendor, these, these little two packs here for the Marvel three and three quarter uh, figures that came out. Um, there was four of these that were released. I don't have these. The only thing that I don't have that's currently released, those three and three quarter figures, are these first box figures they said they put out and then the Sentinel that's out right now. I haven't found or ordered the Sentinel yet. But I did pick up Spider-Man and Electro there. And you can probably see here from the stack I'm going to get to in a second. I picked up the others too, so we'll take a look at those. So I bought this off one vendor. And the guy had all four of these since I come through the door. But uh, like I said, he had 35 bucks on it. I didn't pay that much. The guy came down, so I, I was grateful for that. Because this is honestly in perfect condition. The corners are crisp. There's no folds or bends in it. It's a really good shape. I'm glad to pick that up. The next thing, and this thing was in a little rough shape, but the guy did come down a lot on the price. But this is the blue gray variant version of Detective Comics number 1000 Batman. I'm pretty sure this was Walmart exclusive. I can't remember. I've been looking at this thing on eBay now for I don't know how long. It's usually around 60, 70 bucks shipping and everything in there. Again, this one, you got a little bit of scuffing on it. It's, it's not in perfect shape, but it, it's good enough for me. The worst thing that I saw about this thing condition-wise, you can tell right in here there was a price sticker. A little bit of goo gone, an alcohol pad. That's going to bring that off there. It's not going to damage the packaging. But it has been sealed. It's, it's not been opened from the factory. You know, around here, the glue on the top's a little bit. Got a little dust and stuff in it. But it's just general shelf wear. But there's what the back of that looks like. I've got the regular version of this figure. If you watch my videos, I think the video, the third video I posted, where Bob and I went to those vintage toy stores, the two vintage toy shops in Johnson City, Tennessee. I bought the regular version of this, so I've been trying to track the variant down ever since. And the guy had it. And again, you're going to see prices on this stuff, guys. I didn't pay a sticker price for any of this stuff. You all go to these shows. You know how it is. They put a price on there, but usually they're willing to haggle a little bit. So I did get this guy cheaper than what the price sticker indicates. All right, what we're going to do next. Next, I bought off a vendor. I wish I would have got this guy's name. Um, I bought some stuff off of him at the Greenville Show last year. Excellent to deal with. I actually ran into him in Target one day in Bristol before I started filming. He was in there buying some things. And I bought the most off him today. He had great prices, great selections as far as this goes. Let's look at what I got. The first things that you can see these and know what they are, I got the other three box set, two-pack box sets here. Of the Marvel three and three quarter figures off of him. He didn't have the first one I showed, Spider Man Electro. He'd already sold it. So he did have the other three I needed Black Panther and Captain America. And then this one I think is the best looking one. Well, I'll take that back. Yep, next one's the best looking one. This is the second best looking one. But you got Iron Man and Black Panther. I'm going to quit stacking these. They're going to get up here in front of the camera in a minute. And then what I think is the coolest looking box, you got Iron Man and Cyclops. And one thing he pointed out to me that I didn't notice, the Cyclops figure in this is different than the first uh, first version they put out. i got to get my uh, three and three quarters out and see what the difference is. I'm not for sure what the difference is. But again, we picked up all three of those, so now we've got the whole set of those. I'm going to have to make some more room in front of me to stack stuff. So. All right, the next item I got from this gentleman was something I have been dying for that I thought was going to be coming to retail stores. But this guy told me this thing was online exclusive, I think, for HasLab or Hasbro.com. 
I don't buy a lot of stuff off of them, so I'm not for sure the website they use, but I got the X-Men Retro Carded Apocalypse. This thing is awesome. I wanted this thing badly when I first saw it advertised, and I was waiting to try to find it in a Target, so if it was online exclusive, I'm glad I picked it up. But let me see. Let me lay this down and move this stuff. I want to get him a little closer to the camera. Apocalypse is one of my favorite X-Men character, comic book characters of all time, good or bad. And look at that guy. Look at the face sculpt on that and the coloring. He looks just like he did in the animated series back in the day, the episodes that he was in. But that thing is great. And there's the back of the card. And the, the card is perfect. He had two of these. Now, he had one that was, five, it was stickered for $5 less than this one, but the card was beaten up. Or I think on this side of the card was all wrinkled. I found this one he had laying behind his booth when I was looking at some things he had behind his table there. But, you know, I picked this thing up. Very glad to have this. And this thing is huge. I mean, you can, I, I don't have a tape measure. I'd say it's at least, as the packaging is a foot tall, if not a little bit taller. I'd say the figure is a good eight, nine inches. But, and beefy. I mean, I, I would love to open this guy, but this is one I think will be valuable down the line. So I'm not going to open him up. I'm going to leave him in package, mostly too, because the packaging is pristine on this thing. I mean, the card's good and straight. There's not any scratches here on the on the shell. I mean, it's a very, very good condition. We're going to slide him back there. I also picked up some multiverse from this gentleman. The first one I picked up, it's got a little something stuck to the bottom of it there, but I got Devastator. DC Multiverse. I've got the two pack, which Batman Earth One's what it is. I think Devastators, uh, what they call the guy. I found this thing. It was thirty bucks at a shop that Bob and I went to last weekend, but it had been opened before. But this one was unopened. He had thirty five on it, but again, I bought all this stuff off him. He gave me a great deal since I bought so much stuff, and I did buy a lot. Of, I think I bought a, a Grim Knight and an older Marvel Legends, Marvel's Marvel Legends Punisher off of this guy at the Greenville show last year. So you see there we got Devastator. And because I found this at a good price, I picked up another one of these to have one in, in box. I, I think it's kind of strange. I don't know the storyline. Maybe he went unmasked a lot, but I thought it was kind of strange. The variant of him was the masked version, and this was the, the, the regular. To me, the unmasked should have been the, the variant, but who, who cares? I don't remember him coming with the pistols in the store. It's one thing when I got the one from Walmart there, um, he had, came with the pistols that he used. So it must have been before the weapons ban on the McFarlane's. But again, good price on this thing. And as you can see, the packaging is not beat up. All right, the last thing I got from this gentleman, I got the non-gold label hazmat suit Batman. I've got the gold label from Target that lights up. I've got him, uh, I took him out of the packaging, but I think I still got the box. This box is a little ding. That's why he had a lower price and gave me a better, he gave me a better deal on this one really than the others because his, the box wasn't perfect on it. I'm fine with that. I'm probably going to open this one since I got the other one opened. So that's no big deal. And again, for the price, 15 bucks. I mean, like I said, he knocked some, he knocked some off of that. So I think that was a win-win. All right. That's all I bought. And I wish I got the guy's name. I mean, he's been great to deal with, but I did forget if they were looking for that. The next vendor I went to, I picked up a couple multiverse from him, but I got the Batman Hellbat suit. You got the black armored Hellbat trying to get in close. You can see me and the camera there and the reflection of the plastic. I apologize for that. There we go. We'll tilt him back some. That gets the light on him, but it's good you can see him. And this is one I got to say today, I checked off almost every hole in my multiverse collection of things that I wanted. Now there's a few more figures I got to find. And, of course, keep getting them as the new ones come out. But out of the ones that I missed before I started collecting, I picked up a lot today that I've been I've been wanting. But I also got the gold variant of the Hellbat suit. And I think this was GameStop exclusive when it came out. I don't remember. And, again, the guy I bought this off of, he was, he was awesome as well. But the biggest thing I was looking for today at this convention was the comedian Joker. Uh, nobody had him. Uh, the guy I bought all the apocalypse and all that from, he said he had one. He just didn't bring it with him for this show. Um, the guy that had these, I mean, he'd never even seen one. But uh, you know, I did know where a location of where one was. And not thinking, I shared it with the guy while I was there. And he's like, well, I might go get it before you do. And luckily, I got to the place. You know, Spoiler alert, I got to the place where he did. All right. The last thing I picked up from the toy show... I picked up a White Knight Batman. And again, I found another one of these I was going to get. The same guy that had the blue and gray variant, um, Detective Comics number 1000. 
But the packaging he had on that, it was it was beat up, and he had thirty five dollars on it. Even if he would have came down considerably, I wouldn't have bought that for thirty five dollars. The shape it was in. The guy selling this one was asking twenty five. I think I gave him fifteen dollars for this thing, and the packaging is in very very good shape. You got a little bit of bend there on the hanger and you can see a little crease right there that's where the only damage on this figure and i'm again i was obviously i bought it i'm fine with that so that is everything from the toy show uh, kelly and i did go someplace else i didn't film we went back to hoff toys in johnson city tennessee and again that's one of the stores the shops that kenny and i went to in that same video i just talked about a minute ago i really wanted to film in there but he had just opened his store and he still had some things he hadn't got set up yet and his store is a little bit disorganized. I didn't want to show that on camera and give the impression that that guy has a junky business. He doesn't. I mean, he just hadn't got in there and got set up yet. Kelly and I literally followed him through the door when he got there to open up. But um, I went there for one thing. We'll take a look at that here in a second. But I ended up buying three things from him. The first thing we got, let me take these prices off. I got the black... Azrael Armor Batman. Uh, there's a two-pack out. I think it has this a, a variation of this White Knight Batman and then the Azrael Black Suit. I don't really like the Batman that comes in that two-pack. This is the one that I wanted. I didn't know if they made this in an individual figure. And actually, the guy that sold me the Apocalypse and all that, we discussed that. He wasn't sure if they had this. He thought I was talking about the Black Hellbat until I showed him the, the two-pack they had there for sale. But he didn't know if they had this in an individual release. But as for Fate may have it. Kelly and I went in that store, and the guy had this on the shelf, so I had to pick it up after looking at it there in that two-pack for so long, and now I don't have to buy the two-pack. I got this thing for way less than what that two-pack cost. The next thing I picked up is a figure I don't have in my collection yet, and seeing that I have so many of this figure, or this series now, I picked up Red Hood from Three Jokers. I don't have a Red Hood figure. I don't know the version. There's one that came with a pistol, and I think it's the more sought-after Red Hood. I, I would like to have that one eventually, but he had $15 on this thing. So like I say, it's in really good shape. And I did want a Red Hood for my collection, so I did pick him up. And the only figure I don't have at a multiverse right now, a version of, that I do want is Nightwing. I don't have a Nightwing figure. Um, I have seen some out there that I like. I just haven't purchased them yet. And didn't see any today uh, when I was at the toy shop or the... Uh, a toy convention or anywhere. None, nobody had any night wings. I take that back. They did have the ones with Joker eyes face, but I didn't want that one. And now, as far as my, I guess, what you call my main toy pickups today, between the Toy Fair, Walmart, and the uh, Hoth Toys that we visited, this is this is the big boy right here. This is what I went to the toy convention hoping to find. Couldn't find it. Saw it on Facebook the other day on Hoth Toys uh, page when he put it up there, but. I've already mentioned this thing, so you probably already figure out I got it, but I got the Comedian Joker from the Three Jokers. Now I've got all three Jokers from the Three Jokers wave. This was a GameStop exclusive, and this is the only time I have ever physically seen this figure. I've looked for it everywhere. I looked for it at the show down here. Um, where did I go? It may have been the one here last year. I can't remember when this was released, and I've been I've run around looking for Vampire Batman so much. It all runs together now, but... Again, I saw this. The Hoth Toys on their Facebook page had posted some wrestling figures they had, and they had this thing sitting there, but I could only see this corner. I could see the top of the crowbar and then the camera. I thought, that looks like Comedian Joker. So I messaged him on Facebook. The guy confirmed they had it. He had a great price on this. And it is, I mean, the only negative about it is right there on this is a little bit bent on the, on the peg there. But, man, this thing is in perfect shape. Very, very glad to have this thing, and I got it at a decent price, and it looks like the price of it keeps going up. I can wait, I'm tracking them on eBay. So this this is the creme de la creme of what I got today, Median Joker. That is awesome. The last thing I picked up, to wrap this up, I'm already at 17 minutes here. I'm going to move a little quicker. But the last thing I picked up, something I've looked at in Walmart a thousand times. I've never picked it up because every Walmart I see it at has multiples of them. So I just kept thinking, this is going to go on clearance one of these days. And you saw it in the Elizabeths in Walmart, and you probably already know what it is because Kelly was looking at it, I was looking at it, she was talking to the associate about why the price is marked down on this one and not the others, but I finally got my Predator Q fig. Now, Kelly did open this thing up when we were there in the store and looked at it just to make sure nothing was broken off of it, nothing was missing. It is complete. Um, the associate Kelly was speaking with, I don't know if I got that on camera or not, but um, I, when she was talking to her, the only reason that she could guess why it was on clearance down is where somebody had opened it in the store. 
because I think these usually come in a little baggie on the inside. There was no baggie on the figure, but they let us take it out and look at it and make sure nothing was broken. And it was $28, marked down from $50, so I did pick up my Predator Q fig, finally. Another thing I want to talk about, at the end of the Walmart hunt, um, we had some other things there we picked up for the kids. I'm not going to say what that is in case they watch this video. and don't know when Kelly's going to give it to them. But um, you notice I kind of ended abruptly. You might have heard me say, hey, she's getting our stuff. But the associate Kelly was talking to, I had laid a couple of boxes down while I was filming there to free my hands up. And, you know, being a good Walmart employee, she saw that stuff sitting in the wrong section, and she picked it up and started to take it back and put it back where it goes. So we had to hurry up and got the filming off there to let her know that was our stuff. We'd have just been lazy and left it laying there. But there you have it, everybody. Pretty good size haul for this week. And some of this stuff is I'd order. These three things I didn't pick up today. Well, you can't see it now. The Predator. The three I showed there from online, they came in earlier this week. Everything else I picked up either at Hoff Toys or the Tennessee or Tri-Cities Toy and Hobby Show. But there's the haul. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you saw anything in the video that I missed and the places I was at. If I missed anything good. Again, I apologize. I couldn't film a whole lot at the uh, at the toy show. There was just so many people. When it did open up, that I was able to move. I didn't want to sit there and film where I'm looking at the same thing, and I got to wait five minutes to move down to the next. I didn't want to have to continuously start and stop the video, so I just I filmed what I could and got it on there for you guys. But you can see what I picked up. But if you are a returning viewer who has yet to decide if you want to subscribe, or you are a new viewer finding this wonderful content for the first time on YouTube, please consider hitting subscribe. Check out what we're doing here on YouTube. I am going to go and try to find a place to put all this stuff I have bought today. But while I'm doing that, I will see you guys next time.